what is going on game house i am germ here today i just want to make a quick little reaction video to a new thing that actually dropped yesterday um and this was a video from remus remus i'm not exactly sure how you say this but this was about the fizz visual update rework for 2022 um this is i believe now out on pbe or going to be going live on pbe very very soon um fizz is a champion it's actually funny I, i'm actually pretty excited about this because uh i don't play league of legends as much as i maybe used to but in my day when i was a you know super grinder going goblin mode or whatever you want to call it um i was a, a fizz player mostly a fizz one trick that's how i got to like all the highest ranks i've gotten to before i think uh like peak plat three uh, a couple seasons ago when i was in college and, and really really playing uh, a lot and caring about my rank and all that stuff um but fizz is a champion that i've always found super interesting i think he's super cool i know probably more about him than i know about any other champion and uh yeah i don't know he, he I didn't know that he was necessarily on the block for a visual update. I don't think he necessarily needed one, but I'm interested to see what kind of cool things they're going to be doing for him. Obviously, this is not a rework. This is not a gameplay update or anything like that. This is strictly visual, which they do from time to time with some of these older champions some of these champions that aren't up to speed with uh, some of the newer champions and like all, you know, the 2022 mega colorful, explodey, you know, in your face type champions and their skins and everything. So there's a chance for them to go back and clean up uh, base models, clean up skins, all that stuff. So let's see what they did for Fizz because some people are saying this is cool. Some people are saying this is good in some ways, but there's also a little bit of drama going on with it too. I don't know if drama is the right word, but um, not everyone's totally happy about all parts of this Fizz visual update. So um, first we have uh, just like his, it's hard when you, when you have to watch both sides of this. So first we just have like him walking up, auto attacking and queuing. You can see now like when he uh, has his passive going on something, he uh, they turn blue, which I actually think is super, super nice because um, clarity for you and for them that, hey, you hit something. Yes, your passive is going on them. They are blue. They're going to have the damage over time. Uh, you know, the little burn, the ticking, whatever. So I think that's cool. I think that's a good change. Nice visual update there. Um, I think they might have ha had a little bit of added extra animation or something too, like a lot of like water and stuff going on. Yeah, you know, a little bit more water on his dash and everything. Uh, on his W there too, every time he hits them, you have like an extra water water splash you have more animation you have more going on it just kind of looks better i think those are all good changes here's what his e looks like uh, again when he hits the ground a bigger explosion a bigger splash hopefully it's more um showing the entire hitbox of the ability as well we don't know if that's always the case but you know i think more clarity in the game is always going to be a good thing so i think that was that was pretty cool uh, as well um here is kind of what people are talking about the most. So you can see here is the old alt. It's got kind of the dashed line. It's got the 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 fish, the, the water coming up. This new one, he's got the sharks kind of floating around in the circle. You have the completed circle. Again, hopefully it's showing an accurate representation of the hitbox. Um, but I think this looks cooler. I think this, I think it's hard to argue that the left looks better than the right. I think the new one on the right is super, super cool. I love the idea of the sharks floating around and then the big shark popping up. But look at this. You can see here, the shark on the left has like this extra water, it's a little bit bigger, it's got a little bit more going on. The shark on the right, they removed the extra water, the extra explosion, the little bit of extra pizzazz going on. They've simplified it, they've dumbed it down. Now, is that because of performance capabilities or whatever? Do they think this looks cleaner, clearer, clogs up the screen less? Like, is this uh, something that's actually better for the game? I'm not sure, but people are saying that the, the R looks cooler before it goes off, but after it goes off, it's just a straight downgrade. It just looks worse. I mean, it's pretty much the same. It looks like they copied and pasted the shark over and deleted everything else around him. They cut him out and brought him over and they didn't bring anything else with it. That's what people are kind of upset about right now. That's what people think is a little bit weird. Why are we doing a visual update or a visual upgrade or whatever where we're removing stuff without replacing it with anything better? Like, is this one on the right better? No, it's different and it's probably worse. So that's kind of what some people are complaining about right now. Um, that's what's going on overall. Just a more simple one. And then we have, uh, you know, all of his different skins and stuff. Um, this is, I think, Ad Atlantean Fizz. Uh, not really anything too crazy different. You know, no particle updates or anything like that. Yeah, the, the shark looks different on there. Um, this is like, I don't know, Frozen Tundra Fizz or something like that. Um, again, not really too many, not like any different particles or anything like that. Maybe the shark looks different. Uh, yeah, it's a different shark. It's like a, I don't know, beluga whale or something. Um, this one, uh, what is, it? I don't, I don't know the names of any of these, but same type of thing. Um, 
we can see this one actually has like the the lobster or whatever with the earth coming up so it looks a little bit cooler i've heard people saying void is cool so void actually has some particle changes they actually have like the purple passive and stuff i think that's cool the e is actually different um, and then the alt is actually different as well. So Void Fizz all of a sudden is looking like maybe one of his better skins. Um, we have Cottontail Fizz. Again, it does have some particle changes, which is cool. Um, skins that are just reskins with no particle changes, I think are kind of dumb overall, but that's cool. Um, and then here we have uh, some of the other ones that look kind of the same. Um, that's actually an awesome skin. <laughs> Uh, and just looking at all the different passive and stuff. I mean, Fizz actually has a lot of different skins. So in a way, this will be really, really cool. Um, here's all the names for all of them. Atlantean Fizz, uh, Tundra Fizz, Fisherman Fizz, Void Fizz, Cottontail, Super Galaxy, Omega Squad, Fuzz Fizz, Prestige Fuzz Fizz, and Little Devil Fizz. For a lot of those uh, other champions, you can see only the W passive marker uh, is changing too much. Cottontail Fizz got a complete overhaul. Void Fizz got a complete overhaul. And then Fisherman, Tundra, and Atlantean seem like they're mostly the same as a base, but with a custom R and W. So that's kind of what's going on. Now you guys have gotten to see a little bit of everything. Uh, like I said, I believe this is either on the PBE now or coming out on the PBE soon. And then you can expect over the next like two weeks, three weeks, whatever the PBE cycle is, that this will be hitting the live servers. Uh, overall, I think this is cool. Uh, I think it's nice to get updates for, for the skins and everything like that. I think there are some nice changes. I think the passive showing up on people is cool and good. I think the R on the ground is cool and good. I think the base R coming up and not having the rest of the explosion probably a downgrade, but I think I can live with it. I think I can get over with it. You know, I'm not calling for Riot's head or anything like that, but that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this Fizz visual update. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to update date on all the Game House's latest content. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one, but until then, peace.